Hi guys, I'm back. Um, today I'm going to go over a little bit of a really difficult song. Um, it's considered by many to be the Holy Grail for guitar players. The name of the song is Little Wing. It was originally recorded by Jimi Hendrix back in the late 60s, early 70s. <clears throat> many people have done a version of it. Um, my most favorite versions are Skid Row because Sebastian Bach's vocals on it was really an upgrade from what Hendrix could sing. And then, in my opinion, the best version of this is Stevie Ray Vaughan doing it live. Um, the man was phenomenal. And he, he really brought, he totally did an instrumental, too. He didn't even sing on it. So that really made it great. <clears throat> but anyway, to get into the song a little bit, um, I use my pickup selector in the fourth position to where I'm picking up the uh, these two pickups here, the neck and neck the middle pickup. Um... I back the volume off and leave it on a distorted channel, so that way when I, because later on I might have to hit the harmonics to go into the lead solo. It's kind of a dramatic swell. I like that. You, If you have a channel switching amp or if you have a foot pedal that you're running distortion on, you can do the same, the same thing. It just, that's the way I like to do it, okay? So nobody's right, nobody's wrong, everybody likes, likes to do their own thing on this. All right, so getting into it, song is in E minor. All right, it starts off with your um, just fret the first and second string at the twelfth fret, just to an open E, okay, which is sixth string. Okay, next is hammer ons and pull offs in the second fret. It's the fifth, fourth, and third string. So, a couple dead notes. Okay. Next thing is a G. Okay, you notice I go. So I'm leaving my pinky free to be able to get that. Could move up to an A. Now we're going to go to an E minor 7th. Seventh. Okay, on the B minor seventh, what I'm doing is I'm adding my pinky down here on the first string. A minor. What I'm doing there is I'm using my pick on the fourth and fifth string, and then I'm using my middle finger to pluck the third string. That's just a hammer on on the uh, fifth string, second fret. G chord. Now this is the hardest chord to grab. You just hold that same chord and you slide it up Okay, we're going to slide up from the, the third and fifth up to the uh, fifth and seventh. So the chord that we have at the fifth and seventh is your third third finger is on the fourth string, seventh fret. The third string is open. Your first finger is in the fifth fret on the second string. And your pinky is on the uh, first string of the seventh fret. So just you slide that whole thing down. Okay, next is an open C chord. All I'm doing there is just taking, putting my pinky on the second string in the third fret. Then take, take that off, take off the first finger. D chord. You go up to the third, st third string, fourth fret. Take it off. Take off your first finger, then put it on the fourth string in the second fret. Then D again. So. Okay, so that's the intro. Now, um, during the singing part, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Don't feel like singing. 
all right? I grab the E minor seven. Just let it ring. Then I jump up here to a G. Down to A minor. Now, back to the E minor seventh, but what I do differently here is I don't bar the entire thing. I leave my leave off on the first string so it gets the sound. Here, here it is regularly. I like that sound, but that's that's my own personal thing. B minor seventh. Back to A minor. C. But now that's C adding adding the two notes from G. G open chord. It's a minor scale. Okay, nice and slow how I'm doing that. Basically, it that's um, you know the basics of what Hendrix said, what other guitar players have done. Now, after you get through that part of the, the solo parts, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, add to it, you know, ad lib. Um, find your own way on Little Wing. But this is what I do, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So um, please drop me a like and a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. You all have a great day. Bye.